Hello, my name is Dr. Will Gibby. Today I'm going to show a snapshot of our brand new Social Care Enhanced Insights dashboard. It provides a comparison between authorities on the most important metrics to give you an understanding of service performance and will ultimately lead to actionable insight. On most slides, we provide filters so you can select between authorities, regions, authority types, time periods, or authorities within our nearest neighbours model. Here, we plot the percentage spend on adult social care versus the total adult social care net revenue expenditure per person. Dashed lines represent the averaged values of the authorities selected. Each quadrant of the graph tells a story as it shows how each authority is performing and whether or not they are above or below average on either metric. We also provide a colour coded map highlighting the geographical changes with this percentage spend. Here we break down the net revenue expenditure into support types and show the values in pounds per thousand people such that differences in population size are accounted for. The three maps at the top of the page show support types long term, short term and other and at the bottom you will see a chart of these exact values. This slide shows the income spend relationships and spend relationships between adults and children's social care services. Again, the dashed lines represent the average of each of the authorities selected. And so visually, you will see the authorities that are performing better or worse than average at generating income or spending money. Here, we show the breakdown of the single largest service expenditure and show this either via the map or the pie chart on the right hand side. Unit costs are incredibly important because they represent the true cost of care. In this dashboard, we break down the unit costs for patients accessing long term care. In this slide, we show the unit costs for patients accessing long term residential, nursing or combined services. We also highlight the differences between the latest and the previous year and at the bottom show the exact values in a graphical form. Here we break down the unit costs for patients accessing external or in-house long-term residential services. Again we highlight the differences between the latest and the previous year and at the bottom provide the exact values in a graphical form. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions or would like to book a demo, please contact lee.schofield at sipfa.org. Thank you.